The man, the man, the beast. You don't get a chance to to physically meet H S Pranoy in your own city, and it's his first visit to Kolkata. How can I not talk to him? Brilliant here. Super Series title, Asian Games title, World Championship title. Yes, Thomas Cup in 22, but still the best here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, one of those years where I would say I would cherish for a very long time, and to have. Uh, both World Championship and Asian Games medals in a span of one month, I don't think I would have ever thought that would have uh, happened. And to have that happened, I would say very, very grateful to a lot of people out there. And you, you've given us a lot of joy, I mean, honestly, I'm telling you this. But for me, the high point was to go to Denmark, be Victor Axelsen in Denmark. Can you tell me about that game? Uh, yes, I think um, that was one of those victories which, which I think had to happen. At, at that stage, quarterfinal stage, where I think I had come very close in the previous edition, so World Championships also played three quarterfinals before that. So I think uh, that victory kind of gave a lot of satisfaction in that way, saying that. Uh, and coming into a draw where you had to beat a lot of tough players and to reach a quarterfinal against world number one in his home crowd, playing against 11k. Th uh, say almost 11,000 odd crowd. It was one of those experiences which I would never forget, and uh, and I would say, and to get a medal from that match, I think that made it even more sweeter. Again, I mean, 10 years back, 15 years back, like you said, if people thought that you know Indian team will go to China and win a men's men's team medal, we would have said no, it's not happening. It happened with the silver. Who knows if you would have played played that Li Shi Feng match, we would have won. But that men's medal and then your bronze medal. I think I, I've, I've always believed that things happen for a reason and if you have not won that gold then something bigger is waiting for us in the coming days and if I have not won the gold in Asian game that means something bigger is waiting for me in the future and I think that's that's how I've always taken my defeats uh, even if it's a world championship in the Asian game so looking from a team event perspective I would say very very proud of what we have been able to do in the last few years consistently been able to perform well in the team win, which has never happened in the past so really proud of the team which we have which is a young which is a mix of very good youngsters out there and few of the seniors players out there and we hope that we we keep this trend going and keep uh, keep this team spirit in that very good way uh, helping each other uh, i think that's that that's very important for the sport to evolve to the next stage and uh, and hopefully in the coming years we'll have many more team event titles and I think that will be you, a lot of satisfaction. You have a lot of fans, you know, on social media and each time I say Trisha Ghoshal on camera, Uma Kantura on camera too, but everyone will want to know, you're physically back, ready, no pain, no injury. Ah, no pain, no injury. I think that's a tough statement as such because there are. I think there are always niggles happening. But I think uh, uh, Japan and China were good. I would say, considering the time which I had uh, post the injury, we had hardly one week of good practice and to kind of play good badminton in China and Japan a month back was a good uh, progress. So now I've got a decent uh, three four weeks to train and we are slowly getting back to good fitness and. Hopefully, uh, we start off well the next year with Malaysia and India Open uh, and two big tournaments to start off and really looking forward to get back to Sofia. Last few, who gave this nickname the beast? I have to ask in social media. You, you must. So, so there you go. Pranoy and Rakesh need to ask. And because this, you know, every time I write to the beast. By the way, you like the name? I like it. I think uh, first of all, to get a name is very tough, uh, and to kind of get a name in Indian badminton is always a tough task. So I would, I would kind of take it any day. And uh, and I think probably it's because some days you are really aggressive and uh, playing in that beast mode. And uh, but when people see me outside, they ask me, oh, is it the same person who is playing on court? So I think I kind of have that kind of a big drastic transition when I play on court and especially when it is tough matches out there and kind of I think I love it, keep that. Yeah, you want that energy going. Absolutely. A lot of people like it also, so yes, why not? <laughs> love it, love it. I mean, you know, the Pranoy here, and by the way, I can claim I know him well, the sweetest man, but on court, ask Victor Axelsen. Ask him in Denmark. But then, final question. I have to, I'm media. 2024, Paris 24. 
H S Pranoy, singles. I don't tell me, you know, Borya qualification 28th April. I also know. I also know you will qualify. Tell me about the Olympics. Mm, I think uh, it's a it's a it's a very tricky situation to be honest. Where there are a lot of tournaments. First of all, before that. So I am kind of looking forward to few of the big tournaments like All England uh, in the March and French Open, which are like kind of big tournaments uh, personally for me. I've always loved playing in All England. So, but when you ask me about Olympics, it's I think it's it's a dream for every player to to be in Paris, and I think uh, I will get that ticket slowly towards the end of April, and uh, we can we can surely. Try our maximum to get a podium finish in the Olympics, and I think that's what I'm uh, trying hard for, and uh, that's the wish of. So I'll finish off saying this: Pranoy, in a show with, that we just did uh, some time back, said in a packed audience, ten Indians out of eleven thousand. I don't know how many there will be in Paris, but there will be seven members from Rev Sports, the biggest media contingent. Trisha and me will support. For a, you know, cheer for HS Prono, and we'll have the loudest voice. You'll hear us. Yeah. Every Thank point you. we will celebrate. You. you are one of our athletes of the year. All the very best for 2023. Thank you very much.